Welcome to the Kenny Hack. Hello everybody and welcome to the Kenny Hack. I know in my last video I said I was kind of going to be taking the summer off and wasn't looking to do very many videos for a while, but I was kind of goofing around on a project. Uh, had a customer contact me, asked me if I could do any engraving on glass. I told him, well, it's possible, but I haven't really tried it yet. So, starting last weekend, I kind of started screwing around with some glass pieces on cups. And I tried burning a glass mug uh, without a rotary. I just placed it under the laser and kind of adjusted the focus mid-curve and just cut his logo into the mug just to see how it turned out, if I could get it to burn in or not, just using Rust-Oleum 2X white paint. And that one turned out pretty good, but I noticed that in some parts the etching would kind of turn black. In some places the etching was almost white, running at the same speed, same power. It just depended on how what the focal distance was. So that got me thinking, it's like I better start messing around, trying some different uh, test patterns. And so here's what I got. A bunch of different test patterns and these are your, just your standard test patterns the, these are just painted with rust-oleum 2x white paint if you've watched my video on doing the Norton method I paint these the exact same way I put one even coat with about a 50% overlap until I got a pretty uniform coat going all the way down it and then I kind of go at a quick 45 to that and another quick 45 so you're actually at a 90 to your starting spray pattern. And just give it another a third quick coat and just kind of make sure it's as fairly even. And that's kind of how I paint my stuff when I'm trying to do the Norton method or this method. Then from there, everything is pretty much to set up the same. These are the same burden patterns that you can get in a lot of the forums. They're just 100% to 10%. And then at varying speeds, like this pattern here went from 500 millimeters per minute up to 1300 millimeters per minute doing 100 millimeter increments every phase. 318 DPI. I had my focal distance from the top of the glass to the bottom of my frame set at 50 millimeters. And then you're just seeing what kind of colors are created. And you're kind of looking for like places where you can get like the darkest black pattern to show up or the whitest white pattern. And it all just depends on your focal range. And like I said, that one was at 50. Here's at 49. This is like usually the, my optimum focal distance. This is where I set up most everything. And this is the focal distance I use to create the yin and yang symbol. It's going to be hard to see, but here's your 500. So two over was the 700. I went down three. 80% was nice and dark. And I wanted something on the same speed scale that had a good black and a good white so I could run the image all at the same speed. And using the gray scale, I set you know the maximum to 80% so the black areas would turn the darkest color of black I could get and I set the minimum to 40% so the white areas would always burn like even though there's nothing on the image when using grayscale if you set the minimum power even when there's nothing there's nothing on the image it's going to run at 40% power so that burned in my white and that's basically all I did to create this image was using my test patterns or to just to find my speed that I got this a good black and good white at the same speed. And this is just your basic yin and yang image taken off the internet. Made it a PNG file all the way around the outside and deleted the outside. And then just left it black and white in the middle. I'll switch over and show you my settings and everything here but i'll go over them so here's my basic setup i imported in the image like i said the outside's all been deleted this is a png file so there's no outside to this circle 
and I left the white on the inside of the image. I didn't delete that out, so like it had a minimum scale setting. So here's my image settings. It's 700 minutes, millimeters per minute on the speed, 80% on the max, 40% on the minimum. I didn't have the overscan on, didn't need that. Had it at 318 DPI. I usually always run on the 90 degree, 90 degree scan angle. And you can have it set to fill all image at once. And then I had a offset fill around the outside that was set at 700. Power was 40%. I wanted it to be the white color. And then 318 DPI on that. And that was basically it. It took about 50 minutes for it to run. This is about a 60 millimeter diameter circle. So it wasn't terrible, but it, for me, if you watch my channel, you know I'm all about speed. So for me, that's a very slow project for such a small image. But we're working on building up the speed, and we'll hopefully figure out something in the future. And you can see, well, why don't run everything right at your optimum focus? Like this here is 47. I'm still running more test patterns because every focal distance I run creates different deals. You know, this is at 47 millimeters. It's two millimeters under my normal height. And down here, this is at 700 to 1500. I sped it up. I'm trying to find faster speeds to run. But here it's 700, and this is 50% power. You can, this is probably the whitest white I've made on any of the test patterns so far. So it wasn't at my optimum focal distance. It was 2 millimeters offset, and at 750, 700 speed, 50% power. Now this one also produced a, produced a very good black. And it's clear up here at 1400 millimeters per minute and like 90% power. That might be a little higher power than I like to run. I'd maybe step it down to 80. And you, you can't really use them to do like this black and white at the same time because they're at different speeds. I could step down here at 1500. The white is not as white as it is down here, but it's still a reasonable gray that you could get some contrast. So I maybe could try something there. Or if you had two different files that you could burn all the black and then step down the speed and burn all the white. It's just different combinations of them too. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Uh, like I'm burning ones on white. When I get time, I'm going to try some different colors. Just seeing like got some blue ones prepped i'm going to try some yellow try some purple i've heard yellow and purple would work pretty good for doing glass so i wanted to see what kind of shadings i could produce with those but like with anything burning these test patterns take time these take about a half hour to run each test pattern so you're gonna to have to kind of set up a day that you're you're just going to be burning up test patterns just to have some information in the future and like I said, get familiar with grayscale, learn how to use that to better understand it. And like you're just setting the max and mins. And really, once you got this good black to white transition, you should be able to drag a black and white photo in. And it should get you a reasonable grayscale transition. I'm going to try it here. I might clip it on to the end of this video before I release the video. Here, let's go back to my 49 basically either 700 or 800 I think I could run it on from about the same settings 80% to 40% if I set them at my max and min and put in a black and white photo I think it would produce a decent quality black and white image on the glass I might see if I can get one of them run tonight and clip it onto this video and show you how that looks but if I don't get it done there's always more experimenting to do just kind of trying to share what I'm working on and get other people to start working on it and we can kind of everybody can kind of figure out things together so here's a portrait right after I got done burning it 
you can see when you're right when it gets done it's all going to look pretty black pretty uniform not much detail to it you really can't tell what you have until you clean it off with the acetone it's kind of like the magic marker reveal you're just not really sure how it's going to turn out until it's clean but here's the image i used it's just black and white portrait i pulled off the internet of some random person and here's my shape properties you can see i turned down the gamma a little bit and the contrast pretty t pretty close to my typical first stab at things you know settings to see how that turns out and i kind of adjust in the future from there but other than that it was still the 700 millimeters per minute 40 percent minimum 80 percent maximum took about 50 minutes to run and i'll go get it cleaned off and i'll show you how it turned out so there we go that's the portrait image as you can see it come out quite a bit darker than what it was on the preview this is actually a lot closer to what the original looked like it was a pretty dark image and when i had a, when i applied my shape property settings it lightened up the image quite a bit especially with the enhancements really pop them white colors because i was pretty sure it was going to come out darker than what it looked on my screen and pretty much did it's not perfect it definitely has room for some improvement but overall pretty dang good for first stab at a portrait on glass a little better when it's backlit <laughs> so thanks for watching i hope you found it educational like i said please like subscribe share and uh can't wait to see other people giving this a try in the forums see you on the next one